Hey, welcome back to Triple R. Today we're going to take a look at Dinosaur Escape. So it's a board game, it's cooperative, ages four and up. It says it's only 10 minutes to play. So a quick game, two to four players. So we're just going to unbox it, check out the components, see how it looks. Uh, I like the cover art here, I like the way the lettering's done. So Dinosaur is always cool, so let's check it out. We have the Dinosaur Escape game. It's a cooperative game, four and up, two to four players. It takes 10 minutes to play. We have a peaceable kingdom. Dinosaurs included. So, can you help the dinosaur escape before the volcano erupts? Alright, so let's open it up, see how it looks. So, I have opened this up, but my phone died. So, I switched the webcam, which doesn't look as great. So, I plan on upgrading that soon. So, here's the board. Let's put this aside here. Pretty sturdy board, pretty thick. So it looks, looks good. We have habitats here and then deserts. And the instructions are coming this insert here. It's easy to lift, put everything underneath. So you have one page of instructions, um, the object, the setup, and how to play when the game end. And how to put together a volcano, stuff like that, and all your inventory of stuff. So I've already unpackaged everything. We each come nicely in these packs. So you're gonna have your volcano, volcano stand, Get the volcano out first. So the volcano is numbered, so it's very easy to put together. Like one is the bottom and it goes up to five. And we'll get to that part of the game in a second. We'll just stack it up over here. Then you have your dice, which has a volcano on it. Brontosaurus, uh, Triceratops, and a Stegosaurus. Then you have all these uh, herb tokens, or they might be called ferns on here. I think they might be ferns. So you have different things on the back of them. So I see a Stegosaurus there. That's going to come into play later. You're going to going to match that to the Stegosaurus to help them escape. They have all these tokens, pretty good quality. Very um, kind of heavy duty cardboard. This one here. And that's all the components for the game. Let's stretch this back here. And if this is easy to read, I guess I could leave it up in case anyone wants to reference it. It's kind of hard on this cam, but turn a little bit and leave it there. So, in case you do have it, lose instructions, you can refer to this video and hopefully read read these uh, these letters. But anyway, so objects work together to move the dinosaurs, move around the board, uncover matching dinosaurs under a fern token. So they are fern tokens. You can find and help all three dinosaurs uh, off the lost island <coughs> to escape. Uh, help all three lost dinosaurs escape to Dinosaur Island before. It can, Please in a 3D volcano puzzle. So this is volcano, uh, dinosaur island over here. So you're gonna place uh, each dinosaur in a start space. Start spaces are are the um, footprints. Doesn't matter which one goes where. You know, you shuffle up the tokens. You know, just randomly. You place them onto the board in at least circle spots. And volcano stand starts right there. So that's the setup. You have uh, forest mountains and canyon and dinosaur island, the deserts. So you have forest, mountains, canyon. And then on your turn, you're just gonna roll the dice. We'll say, I think you can move any dinosaur you want. Move any dinosaur, uh, the indicated number of spaces in either direction on the path. So you can go, so you can go forwards or backwards, doesn't matter. 
So then turn over a fern token anywhere anywhere on the board. So you don't have to like be in the spot. You don't have to be here to here. You can be here and you can undo this token. Look at this token. So that'll come into like cooperative play. The real dinosaur and the dinosaur mover of the same species is in the same habitat area as the dinosaur token. Move the dinosaur mover to the matching and the matching token to Dinosaur Island. Congratulations, you've helped the dinosaur escape. If you've not revealed dinosaur, but the dinosaur mover of the same species is not. So if you reveal a dinosaur, but it's not the same in the same habitat as the token, flip the token back over. So they gotta be in the same habitat to move to Dinosaur Island. If you turn over to T-Rex, run. Move each, each of the dinosaur movers in play back to one of the start spaces. Any dinosaur can move to any start space, but they cannot share the same space. For a volcano, and you can start putting together the volcano. If it reaches five, the game is over. And you also do not flip a, a token. So, and the game ends. Find all three lost dinosaur tokens. Move them to the matching dinosaur movers, or move them, move the matching token and dinosaur to Dinosaur Island. And everyone wins. If you build a volcano before helping all three dinosaurs escape, the game is lost. Try again. So. Very basic. Components are nice though. And I don't think I have a dinosaur board game in my collection. <laughs> so, I don't, yeah, I don't have a Jurassic Park or anything. It's very basic, but I do like the components. You just roll three. You can pick any dinosaur you want. Uh, we'll do two Triceratops down here. So, we'll move them three so we can get into a habitat. So, you go one, two, three. Um, I would assume on your first goes, you're going to just want to go in your same habitat, right? So now we know the brontosaurus is here. So we want to get the brontosaurus all the way over here so we can save them. We just got to give it that to memory because you're going to flip it back over. I believe you flip them back over. Yeah. Because that would be the memory part of the game. Yeah, flip them back over. So now you know Brontosaurus is over here, so you're probably going to want to go get them closer this way maybe. Might be the same, he'll be here, so three. So you don't need to flip this one over, you can just flip, check this. So now you know Stegosaurus is here, so he's going to move all the way here. So you're looking pretty good. Um, let's say you did roll Volcano, and nobody will get a turn. Let's start putting this thing together. So you'll go to number one here on the stand gameplay continues so the next person because that person who rolled the volcano doesn't get to do anything except build the volcano another volcano so you'll go to number two so i'll just build a volcano so you can see how it looks so Design's pretty good. Puts together very easy. Though sometimes these things aren't very cooperative. This one works very well. So, puts together nicely. That's a nice art on there. Gets to this point, the game is over. The dinosaurs did not make it to Dinosaur Island. And it would sit right here like that. So, like I said, this looks pretty good. We'll set that over there for now. We'll continue, like I said. Got commit to some memory, you know Brontosaurus is here. So you want to get him all the way over here, and we know the Stegosaurus is here. And then say that the person wants two. We move. Well, don't know where Triceratops goes, so we'll go one, two. Flip this. So we have like a gecko lizard looking thing. Doesn't mean anything. It's just um, random art. You flip it back over. Next person's turn. So once this person gets over here, you gotta remember where was the Stegosaurus? He's here. Take him. He's safe, and so on and so on. It is. Um, yeah, so that's the that's the game. So a little bit of memory, some dice rolling. You get to build this pretty cool volcano in the middle. So there's a sense of urgency. So it could randomly go. You could roll out of volcanoes in a row. So not a bad game. That is Dinosaur Escape. I guess it's see 10 minutes. So, not about a little filler, I guess. Just roll and move and a little bit of memory. 
But thanks for watching Triple R. Have a good day or night, wherever you are.